Here in this video, I'll show you how to create horizontal scrolling website using only Elementor free version. Here you can see this is just horizontal scrolling. If I'm just scrolling down, as like as our normal website. If I'm just scrolling down, it'll just scroll scrolling just horizontally. If you can see just scrolling horizontally, it's just in the right from left. We can just scrolling up, so you can see the left from right and the scrolling down. So it'll left right from left. So it just looks cool. So how to make it from the scratch? I'll show you in this video. Here you know use any plugins also i just use only css snippets don't worry about the css i'll put the css link in the description you can just download it and that copy paste in the right way i'll show you how to the right way so without any time let's move on the video welcome back to a brand new video i am soma from decret academy Okay, at first just click on the appearance and then hover over an appearance. Then you can see I'm just using Astra theme. So if you can see this is a, this is a Astra theme looks like. So if you can use any theme as your choice, this is just not just depending on the themes. It is just depending on the CSS what you have used in the CSS. So you don't ever about the themes. So I'm just click on the hover over app plugins and if I'm just show you here you can see this is the Elementor. So in the after the Elementor, this is the GoPro is here means. Here I'm not using pro version. Even then, let me just show you in the plugin section. Just go to the plugins and if you just click on the install plugins with a new tab. So after installing plugins, here you can see this only elementor free version I'm just here using. Here is also elementor pro, but I'm just not using it. And there is a lots of plugins, but no, I'm not using it. It's a lower reset, so it is not just dependable. So you can see this elementor is just here. So I'm only using the elementor free version and some using some CSS. So that's it so also you can already know that how to install elementor just click on the search for elementor in the add to plugin section search for elementor then you can just see this about elementor is just here also you can just download from the elementor dam the elementor website from the so you can get a latest version so after just you can just you can just install like you can see this is the install now button this is the install now button you will see so just install it and activate it so after install and activate it i'm letting me just create a new page here then i'll show you how to make the this is scrolling, scrolling, horizontal scrolling so make it the new page if I'm just writing new page and then if I'm just click on this publish then again click on publish then I'm just click on this view page then you click on edit with elementor so if I'm just click on edit with elementor then you can see this type of just our page looks like now you can see here this is just look like this section and everything if you just scrolling down see this is the section number and everything so i'm just writing the section numbers and two looks better understand and this is the background color also i'm just changing and just press the one image so at first just i'm showing you how to make it just click on the plus icon then i'm selecting two column structure then click on the plus icon again then i'm just click click, click on this section and then go to the reference tab unbind this padding and top will be i'm just writing 50 pixel and the bottom also 50 pixel then click on the plus icon and place the one heading here then if i'm just writing the heading and then welcome then go to the style tab go to the typography and transform will be uppercase then if i'm just writing weight so weight will be like uh, 500 is fine then size so i'm just giving the size 25 pixel then i'm just giving the font weight increasing the font weight to 600 that's now looking fine then go to the poppins i'm just using poppins font poppins font section then i'm just increasing decreasing this this is the font size then i'm just choosing the color from this black color then i'm just giving the column so go to the column section advanced tab then unwind this padding and this time go to the left so left will be like 30 pixel that's looking fine just click on the pad and just nine dot icon then place the heading from here if you just place the heading now i'm just changing the heading so this is the heading all looks like so i'm just section number one so i'm just changing this section number one then go to the style tab text color i'm just giving to like this tab just text color so this is the text color looks like and now just click on the typography i'm using poppins for again so i'm just using poppins then this is the size so i'm giving it to 65 pixel that's looking fine then giving it to font weight to 700 this is the 700 and then this is the this is the whole text so i'm just copying this whole text here this is the dummy text so i'm just not i'm just use these things because it looks better understand that's so why i'm just writing this all these things because you don't want uh, just you can also use and uh, just you can i'll just put the timestamps also in the just you can also jump over the timestamps as you just were required as your choice as you wish 
so i'm just in, click on the top pop in spot and then just not increasing this side and then you can see these are just um, looks like column in the side so it is a button so how to install the buttons so i'm just click on the nine dot icon again then search for buttons so i'm just place the button here sorry for that so i'm just click on this then click on the style tab then padding so i'm just giving this padding from like a 30 pixel and unbind this padding and the, this top will be 18 pixel sorry 18 pixel and the bottom also 18 pixel now it's looking fine now click on the border yes and giving the 35 pixel and then this is the right will be 35 and left will be 35 now it's looking fine then you click on the typography and search for the poppins font so i'm just writing poppins font then i'm just clicking the color so color will be like this the blue color pure blue i'm just using now it's fine just go to the hover section and the background color will be just transparent then text color will be pure blue as like as i'm just giving then i'm just go to the border radius so border will be like solid and width will be one then border color so border color also this blue color right so if i'm just now hovering so you can see this is a smooth hover it just came now click on update button i'm just using on place on image here so place the image here I'm just using the image so this is the images so I don't know what is just happening here so now it's fine looking so now if I'm just increasing this size to like this and then I'm just click on this column then just bind this and from all these things I'm giving it to 30 and then also column from the column advanced tab on by just giving all this things to 30 now it's looking fine just click on update so after clicking on update let me just duplicate this on more more three pages just click on duplicate again i'm just giving it to this so i'm just section number two right so i'm just writing section number two and then now it's all looking fine just click on the style tab then this is the background color sorry i'm just giving in the section in the section there is a style tab and the background type so i'm just giving the background type like in black now it's looking fine just click on the welcome style tab and this is not visible so i'm just giving it to white pure white then it will be visible so this will come is visible now now everything look is fine then i'm just duplicating again duplicate then click on the title and I'm just changing the title from here section number three then i'm just changing the background color so just click on the style tab then changing the background color from here so what is the background color like uh, everything you can just choose it so i'm just choosing this background color like this like this background color then click on this then go to the color i'm just giving it to like black pure black now if i'm just writing pure black all right everything is now fine now if you can see this is a three column so i need more one column just click on duplicate and then go to the style tab and i'm increasing the this is the background color so i'm just increasing the background color like this now click on the description and i'm just changing the background color from here so now it is fine now click on update so just click on the content and click on this then this is the four section number four now it's looking fine if i'm just loading this page now so after loading this page here you can see this is a section number if i'm just scrolling down it will just normal looking website like your website is looking fine so this is the looks website looks like in the our normal website now we have to just we want to make it horizontal scrolling if i'm just downing if i'm just scrolling down you can see this is just a up down up down that is just a vertical scrolling but i don't want that i just do want to make it horizontal so may, to make it we have to use css so to use css we have to use the html widget because i already just tell you that i don't to use any without plugins i just use only css so i'm just click on the plus icon then click on structure then click on the plus icon again and search for html here you can see the html widget is here so i'm just drag and drop the html widget here then here you can see this is the html code so we have to just write some css code so i'll put the all css code in the description you can just download it and just use it so now if i'm just writing now so here you can see this is just website looks like so this is the css code we have to write so don't worry about that i will just zoom in this css code then i'll show you how to make it so this is this is the just so i'm just writing if i just follow my cursor this is a style then if you just enter then down then you can see you have to type the like this if i'm just scrolling 
scrolling you can see this is just this is the, you, this is you have to just write this this is the style this is the code and then one more style this is the one just this is the opening style this is the, if you have no knowledge about the html so you know that you already know that this is the style opening and this is the score close up of course style lab so i'm just increasing just increasing this just height then we have to paste the code so where from you get the code in the description also i'm already tell you in the description you will get the code so if i'm just scrolling just if i'm just show you here is the full code here you can see this is the full code is here so i'm just copying this whole things and just copy it and then just go to the this and just paste it so after pasting it you can see this table just interface is here now don't do nothing just click on update just click on update i'll show you later i will just explaining you just what i am doing so i'm just after i'm just click on update and go refresh this page so i'm just click on refresh so after refreshing just just after refreshing after we can see that this website is just looking fine it's called school so this is looking fine right this is a whole in just calling so as you can see this is just a website are looking fine but this is the in the main home page this is the actual website is just came in the another section it just came in the home page so how to fix that so after this so you can see this table just page so after fixing it here you can see this is the entry content if i'm just show you you just click on this you can inspect this so i'm just giving on this so object uh, here you can see this is the entry content means this is the elementary just started here this is the entry header you can see this is the entry header and if i'm just scrolling down this is the entry header is just in the, in the up section in the entry header and this is the entry content and this is the elementary section is just started so here we can just use the css that's why it is just showing so you can also control this entry column css by clicking on by just use it now if you just click on this we HTML widget and go to the advanced tab we have to hide it so just click on the responsive and then check all these things hide on desktop hide on tablet hide on mobile then just update it after update just click on the reload this page so here is the html widget just gone now if you, you have to just scroll in this you have to in you know, just fix this issue so how to fix that so just go to the content then you can see this the, the website looks fine now if you can see this the steam just overflow x you have to find here you can see this is the translate test so this is the 100 vh if i'm just writing 90 vh then you can see this is just just moving left so if i'm just writing 70 then you can see also this is just moving in the up so i'm just writing 90 so then if i'm just writing 110 so it is just looking horizontally now if i'm just writing to this is the translate so if i'm just writing now here so here you go this is just website look fine so i'm just clicking on this then now it is looking fine just click on update so i'm just loading this page now here you can see this website is just looking fine now so if you have learned something new today please subscribe to this channel like this video and please comment down how your website is like, how just the video looks like and if you have just more ideas more topics and play and if you want to just call if you if, I, if you want that i'll just cover the topic so please comment down that i that i'll make the video on uh, later and see you in the next one till then bye bye thanks for watching